Permutations are plenty in Corrigan Park. Put simply, a draw would be good enough for Antrim to maintain their Division 3 status, while Wicklow needed a win. The home side raced into a three-point lead within the opening 10 minutes. Ryan McQuillan, a late addition to the starting 15, with the pick of the points. Wicklow responded with a free from Kevin Quinn before their captain Patrick O'Keen pointed with this well-taken effort. It was an end-to-end -end opening half. Wicklow's Johnny Carlin reduced the deficit to a single score, five points to four, after 25 minutes. The St Mary's pairing of Eunan Walsh and Rory McCann were also late changes to Antrim's starting 15 and it proved to be a shrewd move by Andy McEntee. Walsh's 27th minute point restored his team's two-point lead six points to four. Antrim held a single score lead approaching half time before a long range shot dropped short. Hesitation from Wicklow goalkeeper Shane Doyle allowed Rory McCann to pounce. McCann palmed the ball into the net to secure a 1-7 to six points lead at the break. Wicklow needed a fast start in the second half and they got just that. Only 14 seconds after throw in, Chris O'Brien had the ball over the bar. But Antrim remained in firm control. Three successive scores, including this point from Ronan Boyle, increased his side's lead, won 11 to 8 points, with 20 minutes left to play. Wicklow dominated the final quarter, outscoring their hosts by 6 points to 2. Ushin McConville's men weren't going down without a fight, and just two points separated the sides in the 68th minute. Ultimately, it was too little, too late for Wicklow, who finished with 14 men after Maliki Stone was sent off for making contact with the face of Rory McCann as their stay in Division 3 came to a disappointing end. Paddy McBride was one of Antrim's standout players in the second half and fittingly he kicked the last score of the game to ensure a three-point win and Division 3 safety for the Saffrons.